We all have reasons for cutting a workout short, but if you want results, you'll need to get past those excuses. Here's how to keep going when your body's telling you to give up. When you run, it's easy to stop when your legs get sore because you've reached your anaerobic threshold. Your body is producing lactic acid, which it can't flush out, causing a burning sensation in your quads and glutes. But that soreness is pain you can push through. Take a breather to recharge. Resting for a minute or two will allow your body to take in more oxygen, which you need to help flush the lactic acid out. Walking or stretching will improve circulation. Try to slow your breathing to calm your heart rate so you'll have more energy for the rest of your run. When you're on a cardio machine, you stop because cardio machines can be so boring, making those last 10 minutes and your muscles feel like molasses. The solution? Speed up the clock. Creating intervals will trick your mind into thinking the workout's moving faster, and you'll challenge your muscles, burning more calories and building strength. Do two minutes at a fast pace, then drop it down for one minute. If you cycle and you've burned through your breakfast bagel and last night's lasagna, you still have some fat to burn, so you do have the ability to continue. Use landmarks and speed changes to make things more interesting and keep burning those calories. Pedal fast for the length of five telephone poles, slow down for three, and then speed up again. If you're biking in the gym, switch speeds every minute or two. I'm Nicole Beland for Women's Health Magazine.